bounce these lights off the bottom of this overpass. So we get the bounce light and we also get the little bit of edge light off the edge of this. So it's really important where these are placed. So we've actually got kind of a nice sunset tonight um, as it gets dark here. I didn't really plan on using it, but uh, we might as well work it in doors all the way shut. There's nothing worse than doing a complete photo shoot and then finding out that you didn't get the doors all the way closed. Because then guess what? You get to do it all over again. So I'm looking at positioning here and I've got some stuff in the background that I don't necessarily like. There's a couple poles. And one of my rules of thumb is you never want a pole or a tree growing out of a car. And I see it all the time. I see a nice photo shoot and there's this big thing sticking up out of the car like it's grown out of it. So in this case, we're gonna avoid these two power poles here. As it gets darker, that'll be, that won't be an issue. And then we've also got some cars parked in the background. So what I've done is I've positioned the car in such a fashion, I'm gonna shoot from an angle that the car that we're shooting is actually gonna block the cars in the background so you won't be able to see them. Because that's the other thing you never wanna see is, is parked cars in the background. So the front of this car with the back of that car. It's a round taillight car, which is really cool. Yes, absolutely. First of all, they need to be way closer together than you think, and I'm probably not close enough here. Um, but, uh, and the other thing is they need to be really parallel this way, or one of them is going to be, uh, one of them is going to end up being out of focus. So you want to get them as close, you know, this way as possible, so they're lined up, and then you want them close together this way. Like I say, this gap's probably going to be a little big. So that's it, that's our, uh, that's our shoot for the night. Not quite all the cars that we had planned. Uh, that was kind of uh, ambitious, I suppose. But I'm really happy with the results. Uh, it got a little windy and then it died down, which is great. And uh, I'm anxious to get to work on these images uh, and see what they really look like. Uh -huh.